Finleys, it's Delicracy here, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie Season 3, and then we are up to episode 36. Uh, in the last part, we focused a lot on Jem and Marco, and a lot of you guys were giving the feedback that because there's a new toddler stuff pack, and because they just had a little baby Tommy, maybe we should actually move to a house that is a bit more family friendly, because their house is like... Uh, four stories high, lots of stairs, really not kid friendly at all, like super modern and yeah. And you know what? I thought that was kind of a good idea. Uh, the only thing is they love living near the beach, so I feel a bit bad them moving. <laughs> but what we could actually do is get rid of um, maybe one of these beach houses and replace it with a new one. Um, that's a little bit more family friendly. So what I'm going to do is I'm so sorry. These lovely aliens have been evicted. They didn't, they didn't pay their rent. So yeah, my God, they got kicked out. I mean, we could actually move straight into this house, but I feel like it's a good opportunity to actually look on the gallery and check if there's something even better out. So yeah, this part of Barbie is a little bit different. We're doing a little bit of rearranging. Usually I do this behind the scenes, but I was like, eh, may as well show you guys. Like we work on this LP together. So I feel like you would like to see this as well. Okay, so this is um, just from the base game. This reminds me so much of, I mean, not the base game um, from Get Together, but I just, this reminds me so much of Scream Sorority. <laughs> An LP I did a while ago. Uh, you know what? It's a nice house. Is it gem? Could we get better? I think we could. So let's have a look at 30 by 20 lots on the gallery that are beach houses. Uh, we could actually check the hashtag deligracy because there's always some really cool stuff being uploaded there. Oh my God, I can already see one that I like. Modern singularity. Ooh, it's being described as a bachelor pad. Oh, and it's not furnished, but oh my God, this is really, really nice. I love that. Nope. What about this Blake and Bernard? That's cute. It doesn't look like a beach house though. I love that though. Blake and Bernard, is that like a, is that like a TV show or something? I don't know. Ooh, glass mansion. I think that's a little bit big of a gem. Oh my God, this is nice. This looks like a gem house. Does it look like a beach house though? Probably not. Oh, it's a bit more family friendly though. Oh, I really liked that one. Pebble Bar looks cute. We need like the ideal, wow, that is fun, the A-frame. That looks family friendly. <laughs> oh my God, large family home, hashtag deligracy. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. It's not fun. Is it furnished downstairs? This looks amazing, you guys. Oh my God. I mean, Jem is loaded. He could probably afford that for his family. But I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think what we're gonna have to do is look up a beach house um, because I'm just not, I'm not feeling these. So let's just go here, go beach house. And we want to have only lots and we want the size to be 30 by 20. Okay. And let's see. Oh, this is nice. This looks like gem. Very simple. Uh, not a lot of furnishing here. This one looks nice too. Ugh, if I had time, I would just build one. Oh, screw it. Maybe we should just, Ooh, industrial beach house. I quite like this. That's nice, you guys. Oh my God, this whole episode is just us going through the gallery at this rate. Oh my God, you guys, this is such a cute house. Oh, I am obsessed. I love that. Damn it, I wanna build something like that. You know what, you guys, maybe I'll just have to build one myself because there's just, ooh, this is nice. Oh, this has already got a bedroom ready to go. Oh, that is really cute. What this person say? Oh my God, I fell in love with your creation. I'm, I'm liking it too. You know what? I'm gonna build them one. I'm sorry, you guys. I just totally, like, totally wasted so much time. 
Oh, wow. But at least we know what we're gonna do next. We, we have a plan. But I also was thinking because Jem and Margot are absolutely stoked with their newborn, Tommy, I was thinking that they should also try for another baby. And when the new house is ready to move into, it's like the perfect excuse for them to move because they're gonna have two kids. I think I'd love Jem to have three or four kids, ideally. So let's get these guys. Oh my God, where's little Tommy? Tommy. Oh my God, I love him. I love him so much. <laughs> He's so cute. All right, he needs some help. Let's um, let's get Jem to have some daddy time. Oh, he's just really tired. He's just really tired. Okay, let's go down here and read to sleep. I think that would be perfect. Oh, and I love this that Margot made. And now it's in little Tommy's big bedroom. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely not, not feeling very kid friendly, this home. Margot's in like the craziest mood ever. Maybe she can just sit over here whilst Jem comes down and gives Tommy some love. Uh, see, and it takes so long for him to actually get to his kids as well. Oh, he just became good friends with him. Oh, Margot, do you mind changing into something a little less uh, like a tissue? Okay. Are you going to read to him, Jem? Jem, you meant to read to your little boy. <laughs> read to sleep. Come on. He's still getting used to being a dad, I guess. Okay, let's try this again. Also, Tommy's outfit seriously needs a makeover because that is just no. Come on. Why is this not working? Is it because there's... There's a bookshelf right here. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Just put him to bed. Put Tommy to bed. Okay. There we go. Thank gosh for that. And then they should have a little bit of a romantic moment. Have a little bit of an embrace with Margot. Come here, baby. I love you, baby. Let's make more babies. <laughs> okay. Give a heartfelt compliment. And what else should we do? I want to get real romantic. Express funness. These guys are a cute couple. I like, I want her to look more geeky as well, but she's, she looks just really pretty and fashionable. Not that geeks aren't pretty, don't get me wrong, but do you get what I mean? She's looking too basic bish. We need to, we need to increase the basic bish factor with Margot. Okay, let's do it. Let's try for a baby with Jem. No, no, you know what? Let's just sit and chat. <laughs> Let's just sit down. Let's have a moment of conversation before we jump into the baby making. I mean, what's the rush, you guys? Okay, there's a rush. I forgot to cancel it. Damn it, Jeb. <laughs> there was clearly a rush for Jem just then. He's just way too keen. He's like, had one baby and he's ready for more. Also, a lot of you guys were saying that Jem just does not seem very inspired by his career in the business, uh, in the business career track and he's just not doing that well like he's level what he's level four he's been on level four for years it feels like so you guys were saying maybe he should be a stay-at-home dad for a little while like he has his trust funds that they can rely on he's probably invested that trust fund uh really well because these two seem to have a lot of money <laughs> uh unlike someone like diamond who kind of <laughs> messed it up with a messy divorce and spent it all probably okay now let's let's have a little make out session I love you Jamie boy oh my god I can't believe this started a family they'd be so proud of each other they they are a really lovely couple Okay, well, let's go over here and take a pregnancy test. And if she's not pregnant, then I would maybe consider adopting for these two. Um, 
but if she is pregnant, that's really exciting, wow, that and we'll have another natural birth. I wish we could do water birth in The Sims 4. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Like, you know how in the spa bar they look like little shrimps <laughs> underwater? Imagine a water birth <laughs> underwater. Oh, my God. Margot is not pregnant. Maybe next time. I had this feeling she wouldn't be pregnant. I just had a feeling. So maybe maybe Margot was adopted. So she wants to think about adopting. Maybe that could be nice. Oh, she wants to research adoption. She's gone there herself, you guys. I don't know. I feel like we haven't had enough adoption in this Let's Play. And it would be really nice to. So let's adopt a child. Or maybe we should talk to Jem about it first. <laughs> let's let's wake him up and be like, Jem. Huh? <sighs> what, is, what is she doing oh yeah she's insane i forgot about that let's have a deep conversation together and just talk about the fact that you know maybe margot was adopted and she thinks it would be a really nice thing to provide the same opportunity she had as a child thanks to her adopted um, parents, and she would like to give that to a child Finia. as well now that they've had one Is child themselves. Finia, pay them. Like, all right, Scuba. I think we should do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Grinia. And he would be really supportive. <laughs> Let's embrace. <laughs> Let's embrace y'all. Oh. He's like, all right. Let's do it, Margot. Let's go downstairs. And look for a child. Or a, how do you say it in a proper way? Apply for a child, investigate, adopting a child. Browse parenting forums. <laughs> I love that. Uh, okay, our household adopt. And then Gem should be sitting on the chair soon. Awesome. Look into adoption, I think, would be the correct way to say it. <laughs> not applying for adoption. Okay, so I say we totally skip the baby stage and we go for a toddler. I mean, we could adopt a child, uh, but I think it would be nice for Tommy to have a toddler buddy. Uh, and then we can do like a play date or something with a few other toddlers that could be quite cute. So there's Michaela here, Juliana, Emmett, Gail, uh, I'm just thinking, do we want a girl or a boy? Do they want to have two boys or a boy and a girl? Maybe they would want, uh, I kind of wish you didn't get to, like you didn't choose who to adopt. It makes it so hard. I mean, Gail looks pretty cute. I think it's Gail or Michaela. Maybe Gail, two little boys, Tommy and Gail. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Jem's in the best mood ever. I think Jem needs to take care of his needs as well. Margo's, they've been up all night getting ready for this adoption. Oh my gosh, we're adopting another little boy. Another little boy, oh my gosh. I can't, I can't. Okay, um, he's just always on the grill, Jem. <laughs> just loves grilling up a storm how's little Tommy doing I wonder if Tommy's gonna be excited that he gets to have a new a new a new brother yay okay what what are you doing Jim oh he's gonna go to the toilet before grilling I actually think he really needs to give Tommy some food actually first so let's um give food to Tommy we'll give him a nice ham and cheese sandwich because we don't want him to Starve, Gail Quinn or Gail Roberts. I don't know about the name Gail. Gail, Gail and Tommy. I mean, I feel bad changing the kid's name. I mean, surely you can't change an adopted child's name, but it is The Sims. Jeff Quinn, Jeff and Tommy. Yes. Oh my God, Jeff and Tommy. I love it. I love it. <gasps> Yay. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, we need to do a makeover. Let's just brighten the day of the toddler. Uh-oh, she's not feeling very well, is she? Oh my gosh. Okay, now it's very important that Jem... Oh, he's 
gonna welcome the new toddler. Oh, this is so adorable. Welcome, welcome the new toddler. Welcome his new son, little Jeff. Little Jeff and Tommy. Oh, he's so hungry. Give food from inventory. Wait, is he even hungry? Oh, he's not really hungry. Oh no, don't give the toddler stanky food! <laughs> Let's pick him up. Pick up little Jeff. And we will need a new bedroom. Uh, but I'll do a build and probably in a few episodes we'll be able to move them in. Oh my gosh, look at them! I get so emotional when Jem holds children because I'm, I don't know, I'm just... Jem, Jem's one of those characters that I feel like have taken so long to develop that he, you know, he's come a long way. He used to be a total playboy and now he's like the proudest dad ever. It's just really sweet. It makes me happy. We also need to give the other child some attention because the other child is about to um, get really hungry. Hug lovingly, Jem. Parenting. Oh. I wanted to do the hug. Oh, <laughs> oh! He can barely sit down. He's so adorable. All right. Well, we need to give these toddlers a makeover. Um, Margo, I is she going to be cooking? Cook a grilled cheese. I think she needs to actually. I think it's hilarious that Margo always cooks in the kitchen and and. Uh, Gem always cooks on the barbecue. Okay, we're gonna make some fruit salad. Uh, we should probably put a high chair just down here because it's so annoying having to go all the way upstairs. This is why this house is so bad for toddlers. It's just not not a good idea, you guys. Okay, let's just get a. Let's just get. Let's just get. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I was saying it like that, but for some reason I found it funny. Okay, let's just put Tommy in here. Get Tommy some cereal. And then Tommy can meet his new brother for the first time. Hey, buddy. Wake up. You better give him something to eat, though, beforehand. Because otherwise he'll get, he'll get really grumpy. I couldn't reach your mailbox. But I managed to throw the mail in there. Good luck getting it back out. <laughs> I don't even know where the mailbox is on this lot. Oh, little Tommy. Oh, God, that outfit is just so offensive right now. It's just, I'm offended by it. Oh, Jeff, come in here. Play. You are welcome to play with all of these new to toys. <laughs> okay, so he's starving, but he's going to eat up. So that is good. Is he just playing with his food? Oh good, he's eating it. Toddler lessons. Tommy is just a helpless toddler. Care gives another sim to the household will need to help care for him. Well, I know that. I know how to look after toddlers. Why are you reminding me, game? I am the best toddler lover there is. Check out these happy toddlers. Yeah, see? Super happy. Okay, once Tommy's finished that, we will be able to um, introduce them to each other and I think also we'll get Jem to have some of the oh my god there's just food everywhere you guys um okay the food is stuck in the microwave <laughs> oh this house is chaos why is it whenever we get toddlers in the game it's just like stressful grab a serving uh and Margo now that she's finished can go downstairs and they can kind of co-parents oh look Ew, Tommy, no. All right, they can. Oh my God, they're gonna hug. They're gonna hug for the first time. Oh my God. This is gonna be the cutest thing you guys have ever seen. Brothers meeting for the first time. Oh my God, Tommy and Jeff. Tommy and Jeff, they're gonna be best friends. Oh, brothers for life. Oh my God, I can't. Oh. I think they're going to get along just fine. Oh my god, I can't. I can't, you guys. Okay, pull yourself together, Deli. All right, let's give them a little makeover. Testing, choose, true. Uh, okay. 
Okie dokie. Actually, we didn't look at Jeff's traits, so we'll see what kind of sim Jeff is or what type of toddler Jeff is. And I also like these guys having more traditional names. Uh, the rest of the Barbie clan is quite unique. So Jeff is a charmer and Tommy is silly. So I think those two go together quite nicely. And he's very cute. He's got this funky little hairdo, uh, which I really like. Although we could give him the curls. I think we should go, oh, although that's the new one. If we give him the curls, do you guys? Nah, we'll give him the shorter hair. Um, we'll just keep what he, how he came, how he entered our world. Okay, let's definitely look at the new toddler clothes because I really want to utilize those. Okay, here we go, toddlers. Uh, we could give him the superhero outfit. Yes, with the little stars on the back. So cute, so cute. And the little, oh, I love these little pets and stuff. That's actually kind of cool. I feel like Jem would, would rate those and he can have little monster shoes on. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> He's adorable. Uh, maybe we should also give a second outfit too, just for when he's feeling like being a little bit different. Uh, give him the fox, the fox outfit with, I'm just gonna put some little pants on, yeah. And then he can, are there orange feet? Little fox feet, I think we'll just go the, these, yeah, moccasins. Oh my God, this is the coolest kid ever. Sleepwear, oh gosh, that is just, that is offensive. You can't, you just, no, just no, no. <laughs> so let's maybe, oh, the little sailor outfit's so cute. This is pretty cool, actually, I, I quite rate that. Let's just do a nappy in that. That's adorable. All right, and then for Tommy, because we don't want to leave Tommy out of the fun, do we? Uh, Tommy can have the happy caterpillar outfit with a little nappy for sleep time. And then for every day where Tommy also needs a little bit of a makeover. So let's go over here. I kind of like the idea of both of them having super outfits, like superhero outfits. <laughs> they could be matching. Uh, why is this so cute? Um, so he can wear little red shorts and maybe for the second outfit he can wear something like these little plaid shorts. I actually quite like the reds. Really in the mood for reds. And maybe a little polo. Oh, I don't know if I like this. Maybe we'll just go something else. Oh, that's quite cute. The little avocado. I don't know, I feel like these kids are little fashionistas. Oh, what about a cool hoodie? They're obsessed with, they're obsessed with foxes, these two boys, maybe. Oh, yeah, nice little purple hoodie. Now the shorts don't go. Oh my gosh, it's a crisis. Nothing's going. Okay, he can wear that. Adorable. Okay, I think those two look very cute. Oh, what a relief. What a relief that the boys look amazing. Also, I was thinking it is definitely time. It is definitely time for Barbie and Ken to have another baby. They need 10 kids. I mean, we could go on for more than 10 kids, but I feel like they should have a 10th kid and like call it Bob. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Please comment down below what kind of kid you think they would have. Oh my God. These guys are so, these pants. Oh my gosh. They're gonna be best friends, Jeff and Tommy. Okay, we really need to take care of them though. Uh, uh oh, Tommy went in his diaper. Oh dear, Jim. I'm just gonna let Jim chill out for a sec because he's really, uh, he's really, needing to, to, you know, calm his farm a bit. Okay, Margo, let's go. Quite the imagination skill. Oh my God, we need to have play dates ASAP. <laughs> oh, it's a shame. Oh, we need more family members with toddlers. Let's just check the family tree, actually. Uh, oh 
gosh, I always forget where the family tree is. There we go. So Margo has Tommy and Jeff. Okay, let's go back to the family tree. So there was Margie, who then had Barbie, who's married to Ken, and then they have nine kids. Oh, okay, so Ruby has a baby, Ernesto, who needs to be aged up to a toddler. <laughs> um, so we need to age up Ernesto so then they can hang out. And then Topaz's toddlers, Alchemy and Indigo, can hang out with Ernesto and these boys too. Oh my god, we have so many boys in the family. Um, Topaz and Nita have Lamassi as well. Uh, Pearl's probably due for aging up. Now, Ameth... Where's Amethyst's kid? Wait, Amethyst adopted and we haven't checked on... I'm maybe because Amethyst isn't married, it's not coming up. That's so weird. Amethyst has a, has an adopted child, not an adopted toddler. How strange. How strange. And then Topaz. Okay, I think we've basically been through the whole family tree. Like you guys get the general gist. Uh, oh, and Diamond, of course, has um, Mercedes and Armani, who need to be aged up as well. Actually, Mercedes is the eldest granddaughter, so she could actually end up having a child quite young, and then Barbie could end up being a great grandmother. That'd be so cool. Imagine the family tree as it, like, expands even more. <laughs> oh, so amazing. Anyway, you guys, I think uh, we do need to check up on Ruby, so we might... Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing, little Jeff? What? What? Is he playing with a fry pan? Oh my god, he's playing in the drawers. I don't think I've ever seen that animation before. He is such a... He is fab, you know? Love him. Okay, uh, watch Tommy play. Let's maybe... I think we need to change his nappy. Wait, let's just check on Tommy. I love these two. They're going to be the best friends ever. Oh no, he needs to go to the toilet. Let's go potty. We need potty help. There we go. Margo, please give him potty help. Don't watch the TV. Okay. I still feel like doing things with toddlers takes so long. Like, it still feels quite glitchy a lot of the time. Like, before we wanted to read to the toddler, we couldn't read to the toddler. And then now, like, the potty just took so long then. Like, in sim time, it took like an hour for them to even get started. Uh, little Jeff, you're kind of in the way. My name's Jeff. <laughs> oh. There we go. Margo's gonna have her hands full now. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm gonna quickly switch to Ruby's household and age up her little bambino. Okie dokie, so we are at Ruby and Margo, Ruby and Marco's apartments. Um, they're much more humble apartment, uh, but I think it still looks really nice. I think this looks like a more believable home for like the first time in The Sims 4. But the toddler's bedroom is all ready, so let's age up Ernesto. Uh, more choice, age up. There we go. And we'll age up Ernesto so then he can hang out with his cousin, uh, which would be really cool. Oh, Ernesto aged up. Oh my gosh, Tommy has sent Ernesto a gift. Oh my god, Tommy sent a gift. Uh, all right, that is so cool. Let's make Ernesto a little bit wild. Nah, actually, let's make him inquisitive. Actually, no, independent. Yes. Wow, that happened so quickly. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at him. Wow. I'm kind of sad we missed the animation of him aging up. But oh my God. He's, he looks more like Marco than Ruby. He's got brown eyes. Slightly darker skin tone than Ruby. Oh my god, she is. She's got like the biggest puss face right now. Oh no, she's good. She's like, hey, sweetie. He looks really, really cute. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh. She's like, hey, baby. What's wrong? He's sad. Oh, from the broken doll's house. Ruby's meant to be at work as well, but she's never been very good at going to work, has she? Okay, she'll make that all nice again. And she probably wants to get Ernesto the cutest clothes ever. Um, but I think I might actually do that 
in the next part um, or off camera uh, because we're running a little bit out of time now. But he's adorable. Oh my gosh, he looks so much like Marco. Oh my gosh, imagine if he actually looks like Marco when he grows up. Best looking sim ever. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you soon.